Yay. Catherine's already in here. Woo -woo. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> awesome. So, Ramel, you're going to be over there monitoring? Yeah. And everything's good? Okay. Hi, everyone. Michelle and I are here this morning to show you how to do this curved case. This is a zipper pouch that would be great for a vinyl that you don't want to have to turn right sides out or berth, as they call it, in bag making. Right, Michelle? Yes. Uh, let's see what, you, what material you're using today, Michelle. Awesome. That is so pretty. That was a, was that a surprise vinyl of the month? Yeah, it was this last month, last round, month yep. one. And yep. this is, what is it called again? Ice, oh my gosh, Ice crystals. Gone. Ice crystals, yeah. Yeah, yeah. love it. Uh, today I'm going to be using the black and silver vinyl that has some iridescence to it. And my lining will be the soft vinyl and silver. Great minds think alike because that's what I'm using too. Oh my gosh, you're using... Isn't that funny? We didn't even talk before no. to figure out what we were doing. Is your zipper this? Please say it's not this one. Mine is the striped, but not the rainbow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Angela. Hi, Robin. Hi, everyone popping in here. So good to see you. We will go ahead and get this going. So on this uh, tutorial, there is a printout with a pattern piece that you'll want to print at 100%. You can always upsize or downsize this. It's not going to make a difference. Just keep your seam allowances consistent. I will be using the steam -a seam version. And Michelle, what are you going to do? Because you don't have steam -a seam So I don't have steam -a seam so I'm using my glue stick. And I've awesome. glued it, the panels together, but they're not sticking together. So I'm going to use a bit of double-sided tape to help really hold them together while we sew. Perfect. All right. And also, if you don't have double-sided sticky tape or glue or steam -a seam you could also baste the outer edges if you needed to do that. All right. So I almost forgot how to make this. So, oh, hi, Bethany. Hi, Gina. Hi, Rena. Catherine. Uh, so, Anne, awesome. So we're just going to, I'm going to take you overhead and I'm going to start sewing. And Michelle, I have to cut out my pattern pieces. So I am going to go. So that's good because that gives me time to get these stuck together. Okay, good. So here's my pattern piece. I'm going to cut out. I like to put that straight edge against the straight edge of the vinyl. And I'm just going to cut the two pieces separately. I should have brought my smaller rotary cutter, but that's okay. I'll make it work. You will want two exteriors and two linings. And then for the zipper, I'm actually using a 10 inch zipper. I know that the tutorial says 11 and then we just cut it down, but uh, you do whatever you need to do. It's going to work. We're not flipping this, so. And another thing, if they don't want to add the lining, they can go ahead and not, like they can skip the lining too, right? Absolutely, yep. You can just, if your vinyl has a soft inside, you can just do one layer too. Yep, absolutely. So there's my two exterior. I'm going to cut the lining at the same time. This is the soft vinyl. It is a lot like fabric. And they'll probably also notice that we're not using any interfacing, which is awesome. Correct. Yep. And if you wanted to use interfacing, you can. But if you're using the vinyl like we are, oftentimes you don't need it. All right. So I've got my two exterior, my two linings. Now I'm going to cut the steam -a seam. And this is a double-sided fusible web that will stick my layers together in full. A lot of people use this for applique if they're doing quilts. Do you sell that in the shop, Natalie? What's that? Do you sell the steam -a seam in the shop? I, I was. I had packets for sale, but I just got this big old roll thing. So I'm going to list it in a different way, probably by the half yard. 
Okay. Yeah, I love this stuff. Because as I was mentioning, I've never tried that. So it might be a good time to give it a whirl. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to fuse the steam seam to my vinyl. And you will want a pressing cloth. I usually use a Teflon pressing cloth, but I don't, I forgot it. So I'm just using fabric. That's fine. Take one side off. I'm putting the tacky side down on the wrong side of my exterior vinyl here. Mine's all attached, so we're ready. That's how it looks if you've used. It'll look oh the exact same as the steam seam. So there's some glue. I use the glue stick, and then I use double-sided tape because the glue stick wasn't really holding because I couldn't press it long enough with my iron. And I'm just okay. going to trim it so it's the same. Awesome. Um, somebody turned off my iron, and I didn't know that. So I've got to heat my iron up quick. Good thing these little mini Olisos heat really quickly. Usually I just unplug it. Do you do that? My, I don't have the mini Ollie's though. I have the big, or, oh, I can't go to see what I'm pointing at. The big okay. iron. <laughs> and I love it. It's the best iron ever. Yeah. Especially because I, mine I leave mine off a lot and I leave it on the ironing board and walk away. Yeah. I probably burn my house down. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Isn't that good? <laughs> um, oh, the vinyl of the month. I think, Ramel, I think we just have three rolls there. So the vinyl club that the vinyl club vinyl is not available until May 1st because that's when the club is officially over. And then I will list whatever we have left. I think we have three rolls of ice crystals, five rolls of the blue leopard, and the last one that just shipped last week or the week before, um, maybe eight or nine pieces. So I I'll be getting mine today. Oh, are you getting yours soon? I think so. Yeah, well, today, I think today. Yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish it wouldn't take so long. It's probably the border stuff, huh? Customs, yeah. So I have one. I gotta let this cool. I just fused steam a seam to this vinyl, and now I'm gonna do the other piece. Sorry if I'm holding you up, Michelle. I'm looking to see if it's out for delivery. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how I've been with all my boxes. They're, they keep saying, we'll deliver. Oh, there's been a delay. We'll deliver today. There's been a delay. <laughs> I'm assuming with the storm we had yesterday, there'll be a delay. Yeah. So it's probably. still in Montreal. So that yeah. means I'll get it Tuesday then. Oh, wow. Because of the, the holiday. Easter holiday. Yeah. 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 That's okay. I can wait maybe patiently <laughs> or not. Hey, good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Dawn. So good to see you guys here. I am just fusing the steam seam to my vinyl. It does get warm, but I've I've said it a million times. You can iron the wrong side of the vinyl that I sell. Okay, steam seam. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, it is used a lot for applique, but I use it in bag making quite often. And I try to make tutorials that are different from what other people are doing. And that's how I came up with this one so that we don't have to turn the vinyl. We're just borrowing this tool that a lot of quilt makers use and using it for our bags. I'm gonna go overhead and show you what this looks like. So these are fused on and I'm going to unpeel. If it's not ready, you'll see that you need to just wait a few minutes, okay, before you peel it off. Usually it'll come off in one section, but if not, just go ahead and peel it. And now this is sticky. This is tacky. Can you zoom in at all, Ramel? So I'm going to take my soft vinyl. This is my lining piece. You could use fabric if you want. You don't have to use vinyl. You just know how I like to bling it up. And I'm going to lay this right on top. And if you mislay it, don't worry about it. Just lift it back up. And now it's adhered. 
and we can treat this like one piece. It's like magic. No, no, no. What I like to do is uh, bring this over, put my little pressing cloth or my <laughs> fabric sheet here, and I'll do another press from the top. Just quick, just to make sure it's all good. And my iron is on high heat for sure. See, and it's good. Yay. So I'm going to do that for the other side of the case really quick. Yep. What's the question? Are there any websites that show the soft vinyl used as a wall hanging? Oh, I made a wall hanging, Zena. I made a wall hanging and then one of my friends made a quilt. So all the... I don't remember where I've put everything. I know it's going to be on my website somewhere. I guess we can try to locate where all that stuff is. It's on my YouTube and my website for sure. I actually think it's even, it might be in the listing of one of the soft vinyls. Ramel, you just took the screen away. Um, so I think maybe in deep space, I have the picture of the wall hanging in there. You have to scroll through the photos though to see all of them. Okay, my second side is done. What step are we on, Michelle? Adding the zipper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the, making the zipper and adding it. Okay, so I am gonna put on zipper tabs. Are you doing that too? Yep. So we have our number five zipper. Yep. And then our zipper tabs. And they just fold in half and then yep. you slide the zipper in to hit that crease, the center crease. Yes. And then top stitch. I'm going to switch to my machine view for this. I hope I'm not in the way. No, that's not it. If you go to deep space, soft vinyl, soft vinyl, deep space, it should be in that, in that photo section. Ramel will try to find it here while we're sewing. My product, soft vinyl, deep space, not on YouTube, in the in the shop. <laughs> okay. I'll just do it later. No. I'm talking about the product in the shop. The the wall hanging photo is oh, I gotta sew this together. This is driving me crazy. Sometimes you may need to sew your zipper together first before you put on your zipper tabs do you ever do that michelle yes it creates that back that bar tack too so your zipper pull doesn't go flying off when you're moving it around yeah because i've done that many times and not realize it till the zipper is sewn into the bag oh my gosh seriously fun times once or twice i've done that i wanted to mention too the soft vinyl if this person is in the makers group, somebody made a pillow out of soft vinyl. Yep, that's so right. So used for so many things. Somebody made that little doll, that beautiful little mermaid doll. I love it. And yep. if that doll is still looking for a home, I know a loving home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she found it. Nina found it. Yep, I've done quilt blocks with the soft vinyl. I've made a skirt, I made a jacket, I made, oh man, so much stuff. I love it. Deep okay. Space is my favorite. Like is favorite it? Of all of them. Oh, I love that stuff. I, can't I get used to of think it. Deep Space was my favorite or Pink Nebula, but I really love the silver because it's, it's almost, it's so bright. Yeah, and it picks up all the other colors, like everything around you. So it sort of looks like it's, well, you yeah. can't really see, but like, that's cool. Yeah. I it's love really it. cool. I wonder if there's a mega project that you can just sew all the colors together. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, totally. Ramel, you should design that. <laughs> <laughs> and sew it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to take our side piece, right? And yep. we're going to lay it, which is okay. counterintuitive if they're bag makers. Can you zoom in, Ramel? 
you're going to lay it right on top with the outside facing you on top of your zipper. And, and you know I'm what, Michelle, I should have brought my double stick tape for this part. You can use your glue stick. You did that in the video tutorial too. You used your glue stick. Yeah. I wonder if I have that here. Oh, well, you may have to wing it. Let's see if I can get these clips to hold it for me. So yeah, double stick tape, glue. I don't use pins because it'll be a forever hole. And we're just going to sew right down that, that edge. Oops, I keep, Ramel, tell me when I'm in the way. <laughs> I'm going to move my needle over. I don't have my zipper foot here, but I can move my needle so it's closer to the zipper. There we go. And sometimes you may need to just move your pull out of the way. Have you ever been guilty of not changing to your zipper foot, Michelle? You know what? With this machine, the foot is just small enough to fit by the zipper. Oh, nice. Depending on the seam allowance, though, if it's a bigger seam allowance, then I need to switch to my zipper foot. But majority of the time, no problem with the zipper foot. Oh, nice. And tell everyone what you're sewing on, too. Uh, this is my Juki TL2200 QVP Mini. All right. And I'm using a Teflon foot because that's very important, especially with this ice crystals vinyl. It sticks. Yes, I should mention that I am too. I almost never take my Teflon foot off. <laughs> I don't want to lose that. <laughs> yep. Teflon foot, or I don't know if you saw my uh, Instagram reel yesterday, but I was using the the tissue from the interfacing. Yes. Yeah. Because that I've done that in a pitch too, if it's not moving. You told me about that last week, and I always throw that out, and I have to stop. I'm just going to start keeping it because you yeah. never know, right? Yeah, you never know when you might need it. I I can never find things when I actually need them in the moment. Yeah. And I'll find it, you know, an hour later, and I'm already yeah, can... I'm already done. So I'm going to put this somewhere safe, and that somewhere safe is where you forget. Yep. I am just going to trim this down a bit because my lining is a smidge bigger just because of my cutting. So here we go. And I'm lining up these edges so they're nice and even. That's what I was just doing too. Perfect. Let's see if I can get this to go here. What kind of thread are you using, Michelle? Uh, Guterman. Okay. All purpose? Yes, all purpose. Me too. I usually use that in majority of my projects, Guterman thread. Yeah. But sometimes I change it up like I did last week and I'll use the text 45. Um, oh, I haven't used that one. Do you like it? I do. Yeah, I really do. It's a nice, it's nice for top stitching because it really stands out because it's a little bit thicker. Okay. So I really mm -hmm. like it for top stitching. Yeah. But Gooderman yeah. is just, you know, I love Gooderman. So, and I have yeah. so much of it. Yeah, same. Yeah. And I should mention, I'm just using white. The color is white. I have yeah. had a lot of people ask me about invisible thread, but my experience with the invisible is it's, it feels more plasticky. Have you noticed it is. that? Yeah. yeah. It is. Actually, do I have a roll here? I do have a roll. I can grab it after and show, but it feels almost like a fishing line. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I wasn't, I'm not real clear if that's going to hold up in a bag. I yeah. should probably just try it. What step are you on? The same you are. I just got my zipper attached. Woo -woo. And I opened the zipper and then I realized we don't need to do that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's like habit, though, once you forget <laughs> to open a zipper. <laughs> it's a good habit to have. <laughs> yes. So now we're just folding them so that your sides are even, your zipper's at the top. And I'm going to use Wonder Clips to 
pulled the bag together. We're almost done, if you can believe that, you guys. And you can totally make these and sell them in your craft markets or your craft shows. I know those are starting up again for a lot of people. And I usually get a lot of emails. Can I sell the things I make? Of course you can. Whatever you make, you can sell. <laughs> Absolutely. I At this point, I usually have to trim one side a little bit so that it's perfectly even. Oh, and we should mention, Michelle, you made an SVG for this. Yes. So everybody who has an electronic cutting machine, that's how I cut mine. With my Cricut, you can use your brother, scan and cut. Any of those electronic cutting machines, you'll be able to cut this. That's what I used was the Cricut to cut this out literally like five minutes before we went live. That is so awesome. Yeah. We need to put that in the pattern then. I need to add yeah. that to the PDF. Yeah. Thank you so much for making that. You're welcome. I'm switching to a Teflon zipper foot now just because up by the zipper tabs. Yes. Small. So see, I do sometimes. I'm yeah. Happy. Oh, I got to move my needle to the center. Sometimes I forget when I change my needle position or my stitch length, I forget to turn it back again until I'm, you know, two inches in. Oh, shoot. So now I'm going to sew this bag together. I don't know if we can zoom out on that camera at all. Yeah. No, okay. On yeah, on this machine one? No? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it needs to just be seen a little bit more. A lot of times I have my extension table on here and it'll hold my bag level. But... I don't have it here, so I'll just hold it up. It's important not to have your bags drag too much when you're sewing. You don't want it pulling. A little closer. And then when I back stitch on vinyl, I just do a tiny bit. That's it. Now I'm going to trim threads. Yep. And when you're sewing these curves, if they've never sewn curves before, this is a great project to try that on. But if they've never sewn curves when they approach them, do it one stitch at a time and just keep pivoting your bag until you're all the way around that corner, one stitch at a time. And that'll yeah. help you get really nice curves. Yeah, definitely. Because curves can be scary. Yep. And don't be afraid to come in after you're done. And if one side, because I didn't, I didn't cut mine out with an SVG. I just hand cut it. Usually one side, I just have to trim up a smidge so that it's- I did that already. Did ya? Yeah, I had to. It just shifts that little bit sometimes and that's yeah. okay. So I yeah. just trimmed it. I'm just gonna iron mine really quick. I know people are gonna be like, what? Ironing it. This is what I do. <laughs> just take my, my fabric, my pressing cloth here. There it goes. Nice and flat. It feels like a pillow. Out? It feels like a pillow, eh? Because of the soft vinyl. Yeah. I it love has it. that pillowy feel. I love it. Let's see the inside of yours. Love it. So good. Yeah. You're so cute. Awesome. This would be perfect for like a, a any of your like devices. Yeah. Yeah, for you sure. Know? Like an e-reader would fit in here. Yeah. Really easily because it's a big I was, size. I was thinking even my phone. I always lose my phone in the in my bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's answer some of these questions. So you're being asked about your Cricut model and your blade. 
Can, do you see that one from Dodi? No, I don't see it. So the Cricut model I have is the Cricut Maker and it's champagne, it's the color, it doesn't really matter, but it's the Cricut Maker. And the blade I used was a rotary blade. However, when you're using SVG files in Cricut Design, the step you get to, you select your materials you're cutting and Cricut will tell you what blade to use. So there is a vinyl selection, but I always go with denim. I don't know why, yeah. I just find I get a better cut with the denim cut and the blade. And mm -hmm. I keep the pressure at the pressure the machine has it at. I don't change any of that. Nice. So that's just what I do. There is a, even an option for foam. Even with the foam, I still use the denim. Oh, yeah, wow. Just because I find it cuts better on the denim. It's just because it's thicker, right? So it gives a nice cut. So if it's yeah. a thin vinyl, definitely use the vinyl option. But this vinyl, I thought, you know, when I was cutting the ice crystals, I'd use it on the denim. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Question. I know, Ramal. Just hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't bind these edges because vinyl doesn't fray, but you certainly can if you want that look. No worries. And there's lots of two if they don't want the edges showing. They can use that edge paint. Yep. You can even put um, the fray stop or fray check on the edges if you're worried about it, but I've never had this vinyl fray when I used it raw. The, the, yeah. the soft vinyl, because obviously it's my first with this, but with the yeah. vinyl, I've never had a fray. And a lot of times with the edges, if the vinyl is a color that blends with the right side of the vinyl, I don't really notice the edging. No. It doesn't stand out to me. Now, if this was black vinyl and the inside was white, then I would really notice that edge. But and it would look so it, cool. Huh? It would look so cool with the black and white edges. That would look so cool. It would. It would look cool. But I'm just, you know, I think a lot of that is personal preference and how picky yeah. you want to get or what you like. What I know a lot of times I just don't even bother with the edges. And I I got scolded for this once, but I have sharpied the edge and it never comes off. Sharpie is permanent. And Are you somebody sharpie? Yeah. Somebody really tore into me and they're like, that's going to come off on your clothing. No, it doesn't. You wait for it to dry. <laughs> Another thing is use pinking shears. Cut this with pinking shears. Yeah, you could. It'll Give be that, that pretty. sawtooth edge. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. like the, you know, whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. Yeah. Can you show Pam's comment, please? She uses the denim setting also for her. Oh, maker. perfect. Right there, Rima. Pam. Yay, I'm not alone. <laughs> right. That's awesome. I wonder how you, both of you gravitated towards that. Well, you said it just had a cleaner cut. I just, when I got my maker, I was just playing with all the settings, trying different things out. It was a process of elimination. And I do have a YouTube tutorial for using SVGs on my YouTube channel, Mgram So. So it shows you how to use the SVGs and I give extra tips for using okay. design space. But some of those tips also apply to Brother Scan and Cut because I do use that software too. I don't have the cutter, but I do use it to check the files. We need and to probably it. link that in these comments just so people can find it easily. In fact, yeah. you go ahead and throw that in there if you're on your I computer. can't. I don't have, I don't know how to comment through here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Zena <laughs> says she definitely uses Sharpies on everything. Nice. <laughs> yep. Good heaven scolded. <laughs> so does, she, does she use the colored ones or just the, the black one? Or does she go and use like colored ones, Zena? Do you use like the orange and the pink and the green? Yeah, I want to know that too, because I've used all of them. I've, used I've the only black. used the black one. I'm kind of Ooh, like says metallic drawing pens work. Use the good art ones. I love those pens. The ones Ooh. that kind of you push down and then it flows out. Is that what you're talking about, Eva? Those are my favorite. I love those. Um, Pam has Sharpies in every color. I swear, every time I see them on sale on like, yeah. I just buy a pack because I yeah. love Sharpies. I use them in the shop too. I love Sharpies and I like the smell of them. Sorry, that's weird. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Cindy says, I still don't know how to work my maker using a computer, then getting it to the maker, then SVG, then a whole new story. I, you're not alone, Cindy. I don't even know how to do it either. So let's together, let's watch Michelle's tutorial and maybe I can get mine off the dusty shelf. It's sitting. I don't, it. but I don't know if I talked about that, but you can Bluetooth your maker to your computer or there's cords to plug it in. And I just use mine via Bluetooth and it oh. just 
it's really, really easy. No extra chords on my table, nothing. And oh I just gosh. Bluetooth it you and away what? I go. Michelle, you should totally do a YouTube short on that. Just that simple little process because you can yeah. tell me like Bluetooth it, whatever. And I'm just going, what? <laughs> Bluetooth is, but every time that technological stuff goes on, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Maybe I will now that I've shown my face on a live camera because I was yeah. always like, I don't want to show my face. I'm I live. So Everyone feels that way. I don't even like, like, I don't have mascara on today. I feel so embarrassed, but you know what? I don't, whatever. I'm what just here to look, have friends. Look. Huh? Look. The what? This look. Yeah, but look at look at how I blend in with the wall. Look, no, finally <laughs> go over here. <laughs> it's the end of winter, we're supposed to be pasty. Oh, oh no, this is this is color all year round, even in even in the summer. Like this is what you get. Guess what, Michelle? You won't have wrinkles. Well, I do have a lot of gray hairs now that I'm trying to. I'm growing in my gray. Let's not talk about the gray. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to dye it because it's just. Too too long, too expensive. I'm like, oh, whatever. Embrace the age, whatever. I don't I know. Care. Gray hairs just show wisdom. That's all. That's like right. My wrinkles, just lots like of, this. Lots of bag making wisdom too. Amy yeah. says, "Can you show that one?" I've used sharpies when doing machine embroidery to touch up the stitches. Ooh. I love that. Never rubbed off or washed out. I love that, Amy. That's I'm going to do that. Idea. I have to dust off my embroidery machine and, and do a couple designs for Nosy Pepper. So now uh, Sharpie is going to be going up in sales. Just for <laughs> We should have bought stock. <laughs> Amazon's going to be like, why are we selling Sharpies all of a sudden? Like they're, yeah. you know, for Buying them out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Any more comments in though on that or questions? I don't want to miss anyone. Yes. Sierra says, Grays are your pretty glitter. I love that. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm never embarrassed when people ask me my age. I'm happy to say I'm 45. I am glad to be here. I just, yeah. I can't believe. And I also think that now, don't you think, Michelle, now nothing sounds old to me until about, I don't know, weren't we talking about this the other day, like 85? Because by that point, it's like, okay, that's a long time, right? To be, I mean, my grandma was like 93. When I still talk about the 80s like it's yesterday. Oh, the like, 80s. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, no. I know. The 80s feel like yesterday for sure. Like, we were listening to, it's called Boom Here, a radio station, and Heart Came On Alone. And I was like, oh, I love this song. And the kids are like, you're old. I'm like, that's not old. And then Trevor's like, that was from 87. I'm that like, is one of the best songs of all time. Ever. Like, hands down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got my like, really? close out the show with heart next time next week. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, uh, I in eight years, the 80s will be 50 years ago. Don't even say that, Ramel. Blasphemy. <laughs> I don't even, but I don't even know how old I am. I have to ask all the time, like, how old am I? Even though I, I know, know Trevor's age, and then I'm like, okay, wait, minus. A year off you, okay, but you're still because you're in March. I'm in October. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this is too much mathing for me. And then I just look at the kids. How old am I? And they're like, 44. Yeah. You'll be 45. Like, yeah. I don't know. No. I don't. We don't have time for that. Who's got no. time for that? And it makes um, it work when I'm out in public. And when I was with Catherine once and Michaela and the guy serving us asked if they were both mine. Oh, <gasps> how rude! How old do I look? And how young does Catherine look? It's How like rude. <laughs> no tip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh, Melissa's here. My aunt is 83. I'm like, get it on, get it on, girl. Melissa is so much fun. She had she has um an amazing business repainting furniture and Ooh. and paintings and all kinds of cool stuff. And we should take a trip sometime and see her. She does a lot of big shows. Nice. Angie says, I use a Sharpie and touch those threads that sometimes show a little in the corner when you turn the bag. Totally. That's a great Ooh. idea, Angie. Great tip. Yeah, I'm going to definitely invest in more Sharpies. Zena and does what I have too. is this, but it's got to be the thicker point, right? Not these little fine, right. taking Not hours to color. Yeah, yeah, totally. You know what? We should compile all of the comments in here too with tips and tricks and post that on Facebook. Give them all credit whoever it came from, and just make a post like that. I love that. 
Yeah. That's a really good idea. Pamela says, I've used Sharp Sharpies to, can you put these comments on? What are yeah. you doing on your phone, homie? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't this, know. This it isn't... seems like you're reading them off. It, but, uh, oh, but I want to, I want people to read them. I always learn better by reading rather than listening. I've used right there, Pamela Walker. Mm -hmm. I've used Sharpies to cover bleach spots. If I can get a matching color, that's brilliant. Wow. Has anybody used um, markers from, they're from Stampin' Up, it's a company, but stamping markers. I wonder if those would. Yeah, I wonder bleed, too. Because I have lots of those. Hey, it's an experiment. Yeah. Bethany says, my great aunt is 100 and she doesn't act a day over 21. What? That is awesome. I want to know her. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there's a use for the fine point Sharpies. Gets into the teeny tiny corners, Michelle. Ooh, good idea. Yeah, because yeah, I was trying to do it on the edges once, and I'm like, this is taking, I don't have the patience. Yeah. It's too long Seriously. to do a small one. Catherine says, I used to hem my pants with staples and, and color them with Sharpies. <laughs> I love that. That is called yeah. making it work. Catherine realized this is now out for the world to see, and everybody's going to be checking the bottom of her pants. Girl, when I come to see you at the end of the month, I'm checking out the bottom of your pants. <laughs> I love that. I super love that. Uh, Cindy says, those are water-based. Those are water-based markers. I don't think they would work. Which ones? Oh, is she talking about the Stampin' Up! ones? Oh, oh yeah, probably. Darn it. Well, there you go. Because I have every color of the rainbow in those. Yeah. I Anne says, I use brown Sharpie with cork. Brilliant. Brilliant. I love you that. You people are all so freaking smart. smart. Yeah, so smart. And here I thought I was doing good. No, no, where have you all been? You are doing good, Michelle. You're brilliant. <laughs> But we're all better together. We're all exactly. better together as a as a big old team. That's right. Um, well, this has been super fun. Yeah. Again, thank you. For I know. Being here. I hope everybody makes one of these. I'm Me too. To seeing lots in the group. I still have yeah. posted my one we made last week in the group. Oh, post it because I, I think what I'll do tomorrow maybe is a, mo a montage. You know how I show a bunch all in a row. I think I'll do that. Um, Cindy used to sell stamping up. I remember when that was so popular, Cindy. My mom was into it. I remember. I did too. That's why I have everything. I sold all my stamps and all the yeah. ink pads and all the cutters, but I kept the markers because I'm like, these things are awesome. Yeah. They color. Great. Go ahead and show Linda's comment. That's nice. Thank you, Linda, for being here. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, okay. Well, we'll be back. Hopefully next, next week if we if we both have power and everything's good. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the live at 11 if you're around. Yes. All right. Yes. Thanks, Michelle. Bye. Thank you for having me again. Bye, everyone. It was fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.